you know, the police after me. I couldn't fish the way I wanted to fish. You know, I had to hide myself away. And uh, it was a, a big achievement, in my opinion. A penny piece on the spool. And then when that penny piece drops into the, the can, ding, ding, and then you're up and away. Well, my view is that don't ever follow in anybody's footsteps because you'll always be behind. Get in front. So keep hold of it. I could have pulled that out and said, yeah, another one caught by hand, mate. I've got to run. But I don't play what what it is. Uh, you've got to be calm and collective, especially when you've got a bigger one. Kill all the ants. What feeds on the ants? That's your next level. That's what I'm going to feed on. So that dies out. I don't care what else is happening. I'm coming for this. And that's what I'm going to, what I'm going to do, whatever it takes. And I cried my bastard eyes out, and I was a hard cover at the time. Hey, Chris, you don't belong here, mate. He, he, he just brought your split cane rods out and put them on the deck. And that's why you'll never see me look at a camera. When, I'm, when I catch a fish, the fish is the one with the glory, mate. And the beauty of this fish is something I want to have. And I, <laughs> he, he wouldn't tell me where he caught it from. And uh, it's in one of the magazines there, a story I wrote about it. I can't believe I used to take my dog around that park and not notice this bloody fish was there. And then one day he come clean he said, all right, you've haunted me enough. Uh, Richmond Park. I said, do you know what? Richmond Park? Right on my manor. And I don't know there's a 40 pound on my manor. And I'm going all over the place to catch 40s. And so basically that's when I plotted up. And so getting back to uh, where we were is uh, this particular night. I've gone home, uh, had a shower. Uh, everyone's made me some sandwiches and I'm, I'm going to take a dog on me tonight. And so I've talked to Savy. So we're, we're walking up this path. Obviously, with loads of ferns there, because I can't be seen because you're not supposed to be in a park, no one. So I can't be seen at any cost. And so uh, we're walking up this little path, which is not a path that many people use. It's just a tiny, it's full of rhododendrons and stuff. Not rhododendrons, a uh, fern. And so uh, all of a sudden, this stag has appeared. <laughs> Giving it, oh no, mate. Now, my dog, mate, straight in there. <laughs> And I've got my, white, my sandwiches in a bag with a white bag. And I go, rrr, 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 rrr. And between me and the dog, we got rid of the steer. Uh, uh, not the steer, the sibling. <laughs> the deer, not the steer. And it, it basically turned around and run. So we got back to the swim, lovely. And then uh, the next thing that happened was um, the police are now looking for me. They're like, they know I'm there, but they can't find me. And I was so... Uh, Camouflaged up. How far are you away from me? About a metre, metre and a half? Two metres. No, you're not two metres at all, you're a metre and a half. You're breaking the law. <laughs> you're two metres, absolutely. So basically, this was as far away. Now, this geezer's on horseback, this copper, and he's rode straight across, straight past me. And I just sat there thinking, he's got to stop, he's got to stop. Please don't get a run, please don't get a run. Yeah, you because know, obviously I had the buzzers on my low, low, but you know. And so basically that was my next uh, occurrence with the police. He rode straight past, he couldn't see the camouflage or nothing, didn't know I was there. And so uh, to, to, to come to the end of this story, the Richmond Park story, which is probably the funniest bit, is I'm now outside in the, in the day. I, I've got to remember this guy, a geezer called William. He's, he's a, a young kid, he used to go to school, come and see me every day at four o'clock. Right, I can't remember his last name, but I've got to give him a mention in this because he'd come every single day to question me about how to fish and all that. And I, as I do with anybody, I'll tell him what I know. I don't hide nothing. I don't need to. There's no one that I'm frightened of in fishing. I'll fish right next to anybody. Anybody can fish right next to me. There's only one time, which we'll come to in a minute, when we get to Yateley. And so basically, William was a, a great thing for me because he would look at, he'd keep lookout for me if I'm coming out and he's there. If I'm going back in, he's going to make sure no one's about and all stuff like that. And so anyway, it's, it's now uh, coming up to the last day of the season. So I'm out, I'm out. I've got the same bait in the same place as where I'm fishing from the hide. So I know it's well baited. Plus, the, 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 uh, the coots have been diving now. And so I know that they're bringing other, the noise to me uh, makes fish come towards where the, what's happening out here. So it wasn't a problem. I don't mind, what I won't have is tufties diving because they'll, they'll mop your bait up and, and, and they will look themselves. So I, I normally put a ball bearing out. Not to hit them, just to spook them. Anywhere near them, bosh, and I spook them out of the way. Get out. I, I don't mind coach diving or ducks. 
But tough days, I will not tolerate. And I'll come to that one as well when we get to Raysbury with Pete Springate. And so, um, so I'm outside now, and I, I ain't got no bike. So I'm sitting, and I think this is the picture where I'm having a cup of tea. And there's one day left to go to the end of the season, but it's nice and mild, it's lovely. And all of a sudden, the old Bill turn up, right? And uh, he says to me, uh, do you know a geezer called Richard McDonald? No. Well, well, why's that, mate? He said, well, he's fishing here somewhere. We can't find him. I said, well, I haven't seen anybody, mate. All this geezer had to do was ask my permit. It's right there in front of you, mate. Here I am. <laughs> but he didn't. And so while he's standing there, all of a sudden it's gone. Bang. And as soon as I picked her up, bang. I know what it is. Wow, here we go. Dun, 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 Happy days. I know what I've got on here. Without a doubt, because big fish don't fight like twenties. There's dog, bump, dunk, bump, dunk. Some do, especially in France. They go mental. Don't get what, what, what size they are. They just don't know what, what what hooks are. And so basically, as I've got this fish in.